In this tutorial, we will see how to create railings for stairs. So at first, we will see to click on view and take the top UCS, UCS as top, then go back to home and select circle as a circle command. Circle gives the center point and a radius of 25. So 50 diameter rod we, uh, we will be creating. So just press pull this, press pull, go inside the circle and give the height of 750. Then copy this rod or we will give the color to this rod ok alright it is black only we will keep it is black copy then take the quadrant of this side and this quadrant we will make the ortho off if it is on and we will put it on the stairs midpoint so this rod we will put at the midpoint of the stairs ok escape then we will copy this rod by leaving one st stairs in between so just take the base point of this and we will copy it here so we will in between we will leave one step and uh, on alternate steps we will copy this rod then copy here take the end point then take the end point here ok then we will put it here at the end of this then one at the mid mid of this line then one here so we will take the nearest base point shift right click nearest here I want to put one then one at the corner then we will put the here also at the end of this then at the end of this by leaving one step we will copy it alright then we will just remove this we don't want this then we will move it in between give the base point second point ok just make ortho on so it will move straight alright then we will move this rod at the end just move select this rod enter then take the quadrant so we will take this quadrant ok and we will put at the end of the slab then we will move, move it inside by 25 50 so it will come inside 50 alright then move it inside by 25 move select object enter base point direction 25 distance then 25 backward 25 so it will be exactly put on the corner then we will copy this 
on that side so just copy select object enter give the base point give the second point suppose one rod i will put it here next will be here then next we just zoom minus so that i can view it properly then next here then next further there okay i will just make the o snap off so it will not go anywhere f3 for making the object snap off just press the f3 then one last at the corner all right so all unwanted uh, i will just erase these rods this has been copied by mistake so in this way we have put all the rods now we want rods on this side also so we will just copy the these rods there copy select all these this side the rods so here one step has been left extra so we'll take it down just move move this rod down end of this uh, take a three make object snap on end of this to the end of this and again we have to move it down also end of this to the end of this okay then we will copy these rods on that side also copy just select all these low rods then give the base point give the direction and give the distance of 1 meter is total minus 50 that means 950 so it will be placed on that side directly all right now same way we have to copy here on this platform also just say copy okay so just say copy then select one rod enter then take this quadrant this side quadrant Just zoom it. Take the quadrant, or mid mid will also do quadrant or mid any point. Okay, mid point. Take the mid point and put it on this platform. Suppose I want to put one at the mid, make or top at the mid of this platform. just take the midpoint of this platform so it is it is taking some other midpoint i will just orbit okay now take the midpoint of okay this midpoint then this end point one at at the end point so it is taking very uh, time for the object snap so otherwise we will copy this copy this at 500 distance 500 minus 50 450 distance make or thon 450 make object snap off at a distance of 450 all right now we will move it the quadrant of this give the base point give the direction we will move it by suppose 200 
then 50 inside all right then this we will copy here again take the uh, copy select object give the base point give the direction suppose I want just make f3 object snap off I want one rod here I want one rod here and one rod at this point ok escape to come out it is this extra one ok so in this way all rod has been placed properly now I want uh, then top rod is needed connecting all these rods so for that you have to give 3d polyline command just text 3d polyline then go to the bottom rod and take the center of top just take the center of this top make a object snap on f3 center then zoom minus make ortho off and take the center of this top top rod again so just zoom it there zoom there and take the center ok again from here we will take the center of next rod this rod then center of this rod so we are currently we are given a 3d polyline command so we will connect the last rod ok so all rods has been connected in this way then on this side also we will again give 3d polyline and we will connect these rods also so just say take the center of this rod center of top rod zoom there just zoom inside take the center of this rod ok zoom minus pan it down then take the center of this rod first rod then center of top rod here then this rod this one and the last one so in this way this side 3d polyline is also ready now we will just create uh, two circles and just create a circle of 25 radius two circles just copy the last circle and keep it ready for other sweep then we will form this reading by sweep command so just click on extrude arrow below extrude just say sweep then select object to sweep take this circle then press enter then sweep path take this 3d polyline we just created so this one railing is ready again say sweep press enter to repeat the command select this circle enter sweep path is this 3d polyline other 3d polyline so in this way we have created this railing then oh, we will also need the opening here actually for entry so for that we will just switch back to back UCS just say back we are on the back side then just create two vertical lines from the end of this platform and make ortho on make object snap off this one line and other line from the other uh, end of the make f3 again then go up and click just make object snap off so it will not take unwanted then just zoom it and press pull it so that opening will be clear for entry just go back to home press pull and take this portion here ok go inside and click so in this way this portion is open now just delete these lines that, that we have created just now and zoom minus so in this way we have created the railings for the stairs so that's all 
will stop here thanks for joining